So we want to think about not just doing, you know, resistance training, just to resistance train, but also having that, that higher load or higher impact together. So high intensity resistance exercise or moderate intensity exercise, um, resistance exercise combined with higher impact training. So our jumps, our bounds, our skips, our plyometrics, that type of training, d- drop jumps, things like that does show particularly good results in the studies that we do have that to combine them. And we see significant improvements in exercises, um, In these trials, like deadlifts, overhead press, back squats, combined with impact and jumps. The biggest caveat to add to this, though, is that these trials that, you know, particularly two of them that looked at this in higher intensity, high load training, you'll see a lot of people quote these um, and saying like five by five at 80 percent of your one rep max. And these compound exercises is better than anything else. And we do see in these studies that it is effective for increasing bone mineral density and bone mass. But... Um, the, the things that they were compared to, the one was like an at home, very low loaded, body weight loaded, under loaded resistance training protocol where they were doing like lunges and calf raises with very light weights. And the other protocol that did this combined high intensity resistance exercise was like plyometrics exercise essentially had it compared to people doing Pilates, right? And it showed that that was more effective than that low load, high repetition, lower impact type training. 